place or thing. Let's meet Jordan. Her person is Pharrell Williams because he gets her dancing. Next up is Doug, and his place is Napile Bay in Maui. And finally, meet Kristen. Her thing is happy hour. And now, you know her from her wacky appearances on the other hit Fox show, Cops. It's our host, Melissa Peterman. Jamie, my finest work. Welcome to Person, Place, or Thing, the game where the contestants need to ask me the right questions to get to the right answers. And I am looking at a group of fierce competitors right here. Mm -hmm. I can see you guys. You ready to play? Yes. yes. You know what we're playing for? You are playing for a grand prize, a fantastic Caribbean vacation at the all-inclusive St. James's Club in Antigua. Sound right. good? Yeah. Awesome. Yes. It does yes. sound very good. I bet there's a lot of happy hours there. Although well, I guess every hour is happy happen. hour when you're on vacation, That's isn't that true. right? Um, okay. Yeah. All right, well, let's get started. In round one, we are gonna play each category, person, place, and thing. Okay, we're gonna play it for 100 points. Now, when it's your turn, you can ask me yes or no questions, yes or no only, or you could guess if you think you know it. Okay. And after everyone has a turn, I am gonna give you a little clue. And at that point, any, any one of you can buzz in and answer. You buzz in, you get it right, you got 100 points. You buzz in, you get it wrong, we're gonna skip your turn, so buzz wisely, okay? Got it. Now backstage, we drew straws to see who would go first. And Kristen, you just drew the most beautiful <laughs> straw. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna frame this, this is lovely. And wow. so that means you are gonna be going first. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, uh, first up, person category. And because I'm feeling a tiny bit nice and tipsy, I'm going to give you a clue. <laughs> this person is a female entertainer. Okay. Is she an actress? Um, yes. She is an actress. Hi, Doug. Hi. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> you like vacations. Yes. Uh, female entertainer, also an actress. Yes or no question? Is she under 25 years old? She is not under 25, and the best ones aren't, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jordan. Hello, my dear. You look gorgeous. Thank you, so do you. All right, well, thank you. Uh, yes or no question? Is she a woman of color? Yes. Okay. All right, guess what? It's time for your first clue. All right. Okay, this female entertainer, she is of Puerto Rican descent. <laughs> Doug. Is it Jennifer Lopez? Doug. I was gonna play it off, but you gave him the big music. Yes, it is Jennifer Lopez! <laughs> <laughs> Great job, Doug. Great this. You got it, you got it. 100 points, Doug, well done. It's time for our second category. We are up next with our place category. This place is a European country. Okay, all right, Doug, European country. Hmm. Is it Italy? Well, guess right out of the, I love that. You're not even asking a yes or no question. I love the bravery, but you know what? You're wrong. It is not Italy. All right. Okay. okay. Are you just losing your buzzer over I, here? I am. I'm like, I'm having trouble <laughs> keeping it in because it wants me to press it. Okay? It wants you to press it. Okay. All right. It is not Italy, European country. Um, are they known for champagne? No, they are not known for champagne. Yeah, so let's not go there. Okay, okay. we're not going to go there. All right, here we out. go. Uh, Kristen. Does it have a famous royal family? Yes, okay. they do. All right, which means it is time for your first clue. All right, so get that buzzer in your hand. I know yours is jumping out at you, uh, yep, so here we go. Okay. The first clue, this European country, this country's flag is blue and white. Oh, Doug. Answer. Is it France? No, it is. Oh, brown, brown. It is, no, it is not France, which means we're gonna have to skip your turn this time, but that was a very good guess. Okay, so we are back to you now, Jordan. Okay. okay. Um, not France, famous royal family. Can you find this country along the coast? Yes, you can. Okay. Kristen. Has this country ever hosted the Olympics? Yes, okay. this country has hosted the Olympics. And guess what? It's time for a clue, so get your buzzers up. Here we go. 
All right, second clue. This European country boasts the longest Mediterranean coastline. Doug, <laughs> hit me. Is it Greece? It is Greece! Oh. Oh. Doug, you <laughs> are crushing <laughs> round one. <laughs> that is fantastic. So you have 200 points on the board, but you know, we've got another category in this round, so let's get right to it. Okay. We are in our thing category, and I, what I can tell you about this thing, this thing is a bird, okay? Oh, All right. Okay. Jordan, you are up first. Okay. Can this bird be found in the zoo? Hmm. Yes, this bird can be found okay. in the zoo. Mm. Kristen, does this bird speak? Not unless you've been to happy hour. No, <laughs> <laughs> this bird is okay. not known for talking. Okay. All right, Doug. Mm. Is it a penguin? <laughs> no, it is not a penguin. I like that you just are bold and you just <laughs> guess. I like that, Doug. Uh -huh. I like I it. That. But guess what? It's time for your first clue about our thing. This thing, which is a bird, they have thick, got your buzzers? They have thick, downturned bills. Is Chris? it a seagull? Is it a seagull? Yeah. It is not a seagull, mm -hmm. which means we have to skip your turn. And that means we are at Jordan, okay. right back here. All right, not a seagull. Okay, I'm ready. Thick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump for it. I'm okay. gonna guess. Is it a flamingo? It is a flamingo! Oh, Fantastic hey, good job! <laughs> you are on the board, Jordan. Okay, we've got ourselves a game here. We ain't got 200 points for Doug, 100 points for Jordan. Kristen is not on the board yet, but you know what? It's still anybody's game. We will be right back with some more great questions and even greater clues on person, place, or thing. Stay tuned. Look at this drop. Great game here, but round two is the same as the first, except you guys get to pick the category you want to play, and we have doubled the points. Now, Kristen, since you are trailing, we are going to start with you. So, what category would you like to play? Person, place, or thing? Place. All right, place. I'm going to give you a tiny little hint about this place. This place is a U.S. city. Mm. That narrows it down kind of a little bit. A little bit. A little mm -hmm. bit, doesn't it? Is it. A large city. Define large. Over a million citizens. No, this okay. U.S. city does not. Mm. Doug. Wow. Wow, you seem to know your city numbers with that. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I, I wouldn't even call it a city if it's under a million, but there oh. you go. Look at this is a big city boy. <laughs> <laughs> so is it west of the Mississippi River? No, it is not. Jordan, I wish I knew my directions. <laughs> that That's question. what we have a phone for, Jordan. I, I mean, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Um, is this city um, well known for basketball? That's an interesting question. Mm -hmm. I, I actually don't really watch sports that much. But. Well, that is a very interesting question to ask. I know, but you know, that, that might help me a little bit. You're not a big sports fan. <laughs> <laughs> and yet your question you're asking to help narrow this category down, Jordan, is, is it got a well-known basketball yeah. team? Uh -huh. I don't know what your strategy is, Jordan, but Just I have watch. a feeling you're on another level than all of us. <laughs> but you know what the answer? is no, which means it is time for your first clue. All right. So this U.S. city, its design was modeled on Paris. Kristen. Is it Washington, D.C.? You are on the board, Kristen! It is Washington, uh, D.C. And just in that one little moment, you tied Doug for the lead. 200, 200, 100. Well done. Thank you. All right. Was it the, the Paris thing? You knew it. And it. under a million people on the East Coast. Um, do you even know what basketball mm. team is in D.C.? No. Nah. Perfect, perfect. Again, I don't know what your strategy oh, you is, but I love it. Okay. Thanks. All right, Doug, you are up next. You get to pick the category. What's it going to be? I want to try place again, please. Ooh, place again. Okay. All right. This place, Doug, is a body of water. Mm. Okay? Mm. <clears throat> hmm. Very thoughtful. Yes or no question. Yeah. Or you can guess right out of the gate. Is it Lake Erie? 
You know, Doug, I I love you because this is sort of, this is like, you know what, I'm just going to throw some spaghetti against the wall. I'm going to see if it sticks. But you know what? And you know, there's not that many bodies of water on the globe, so you've narrowed it down a lot. It is not Lake Erie. All right. But that's one of my favorite bodies of water. <laughs> I miss the Erie Canal. It doesn't get as much play as it used to. Yeah. Okay, all right, yes or no question. Unless you want to guess another body of water. Uh, no. Um, is this a body of water an ocean? Hmm. No, it is not an ocean. Okay. Okay. All right. Is Kristen. this body of water in the United States? Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? It borders the U.S., so I'm going to say yes. Okay. All right, guess what? It's time for your first clue about this body of water. That is not Lake Erie. <laughs> this body of water is located off the southeastern coast of North America. Kristen. Gulf of Mexico. Boom! It is the Gulf of Mexico! Nice. Two in a row. That is 400 points for you. Round mm. two is your game. I, All right. Wow. Well up. done. Well done. Did you know it? Were you just waiting for one little clue? When you said it bordered, I knew it. Okay, and do you have a special bond with Lake Erie, Doug? I want to know. America <laughs> wants to know, actually. I was thinking it was a great lake, and that was one that came to my it's mind. It's one of the greatest. It really is. <laughs> All right, Jordan, you're up next. What category do you want to play? Yeah. Person, let's, place, or thing? Let's switch it up. Let's try person. Person. Okay. All right, Jordan, I'm going to give you a tiny hint because I got a ton of sleep last night. I'm feeling <laughs> good. This person mm -hmm. is an actor. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Is it a male? Yes. Okay. This actor is a male. I'm so impressed by my walking backwards skills. No. I hope everyone is liking that. And in those shoes. <laughs> in these shoes, too. Is this actor an Academy Award winner? Um, no. Oh. He is not an Academy Award winner. Okay. But I am a People's Choice winner. Wow. <laughs> oh, sit down, sit down. Oh, you're already standing. Okay, Doug, yes or no question, or you can guess. Is it Will Smith? I love it that you just guessed, but no, it is not Will Smith. That means it's time for your first clue. All this right. actor, who is not an Academy Award uh, winner, he worked as a carpenter before he became a star. Doug. Harrison Ford. Yeah. Yeah. So we got 400 points, 400 points, and 100 points. But you know what? It is still anybody's game, so do not go away. We're going to speed things up next to see who's going to walk away the winner on person, place, or thing. It's time for the speed round. Woo! On team from Pacoima, it's person, place, or thing. <laughs> Glamorous Pacoima. I do love it here. Well, hello, guys. <laughs> we have a fantastic game here. We have a tie here. 400 points for Kristen, 400 points with Doug. And Jordan, you have 100 points. But you know what? It's still in one's game because it is time for the speed round. That's Are good. you guys ready? Yes. yes. Okay, this one is very fun and very easy. We're going to put two minutes on the clock. No questions from you. I'm just going to keep giving you clues about a person, place, or thing. When you think you know it, you buzz in an answer. And if you answer it right, you got 500 points. If you answer it wrong, you are out. But just for that category, you're back in the next time. So just be ready to play, okay? Yeah. Jamie, wake up and put two minutes on the clock, please. Beep, 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 robot voice. Okay, all right. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what he does. Are right, you guys ready? <laughs> yes. Here we go. Time starts now. This thing is one of Homer Simpson's favorite foods. Jordan. Donut. Yes. This person made her feature film debut in Leprechaun. She had an iconic hairstyle inspired by her TV character. She says Courtney Cox is one of her best. Doug. Jennifer Aston. Yes. This place is home to the rock and roll of Hall, Hall of Fame. Doug. Cleveland. Yes, it is Cleveland. This thing is something you use in the dark. Jordan. A bed. Uh, no. Uh, it's essential gear to pack for a camping trip. Doug. Flashlight. Yes. All right. This person won five NBA championships with the LA Lakers. Doug. Kobe Bryant. No. The, he got his famous nickname from a reporter. Tristan. No. He is an advocate for HIV. Jordan. Magic Johnson. Yes, it is. This thing was flown during a lightning storm by Benjamin Franklin. Doug. 
kite. It is a kite. This person was played by Reba McIntyre in a series of commercials. He bleached his mustache. Kristen. Uh, Colonel Sanders. Yes, it is Colonel Sanders. This place is a historical landmark in Peru. Doug. Machu Picchu. Yes, it is Machu wow. Picchu. This thing is an animal found in Africa. Yes. A uh, giraffe. Giraffe, yes. This place attracts 40 million people annually. Doug. Disneyland. No, it is located in Bloomington, Minnesota. It's among the largest shopping center in the world. Mall Kristen. of America. Yes, it is. All right, this person was inducted into the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame. Jordan. Lisa Leslie. No, she won a Peabody Award for sharing her cancer journey. She became co-anchor co on Good Morning America 17 years ago. Kristen. Robin Roberts. Yes, it is. All right, this person is still touring at 89 years old. Doug, you can answer. It was right on the buzzer. Dolly Parton. Oh, you know what, Doug? You were in the right genre, but you're the wrong person. It was, if I give you one more time, his signature hair braid sold at an auction for $37,000. Oh, Willie Nelson? Willie Nelson. $37,000. It's almost wow. like you could get high off that braid. I think you could. All right, fantastic speed round, everybody. Well done, but you know what, Doug? You took the lead 2,900 points, which means, Doug, you are moving on to the final round. Oh, my gosh. Give it up for Doug. Oh. Congrats. This Congrats. was your round, and not one Lake Erie in the bunch. Lake Erie, Lake Erie, Lake Erie. Um, you know what, Kristen and Jordan, you guys were so much fun to play. I hope you had a great time. Oh, so, so much, much fun. fun. Well, you know, we are not sending you home empty-handed. We never do that here at Person, Aww. Place, or Things. So, Jamie, tell our lovely ladies what they're going home with. Put your days of hanging around the docks behind you, because you're each getting a gift card to Lobstergram. <laughs> Indulge with Lobster Gram, delivering the freshest lobster, giant king crab legs, colossal shrimp, flavorful handcuffed steak, side dishes, and desserts right to your door. Make gift giving effortless with LobsterGram.com. Okay, I love it. You guys, anything that comes with melted butter is amazing. Thank you so much. Thank okay, you. when we come back, we're going to see if Doug can walk out with an amazing trip. Stay right here for more person, place, or thing. Ding dong! Thank you, Jamie. I am here with our phenomenal winner, Doug, right here. And he's very excited to get packing for this dreamy vacation he is hoping to win. It is not Lake Erie, but Jamie, tell us all about it. Toot toot, this train's heading to the vacation station. <laughs> Experience an authentic Caribbean vacation at the all-inclusive St. James's Club in Antigua. <laughs> Ideally situated on a secluded peninsula, you can retreat from the world or indulge in adventure and exploration. This exclusive hideaway caters to couples, families, and singles, offering something for everyone in a casual club-like ambience enhanced by exceptional attentive service. Oh, it doesn't even sound more exciting with that Scottish accent. They're always after his lucky charms. They, yes, they are. Guy, he got you, Jamie. How Good dare one. you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Doug, take a deep breath. You mm -hmm. can do this. We want yes. you to take that trip, and we even want you to take home some cash. So here are our rules for our final round, okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to put 60 seconds on the clock. You need to identify a person a place, and a thing. You can go in any order you want. Mm -hmm. You can pass at any time, but you need to get all three to get the grand prize. Okay. Now, you can ask me as many yes or no questions as you want. You can guess as many times as you want. And, you know, Doug, I am not a monster, and I'm here to help you. I've yes. got three clues for you. Yes. Okay, you can use them any way you want. One for each, all for one, spread them out, but use them. They are very important. Okay, and remember, you get $1,000 each for the first two correct answers. But you answer all three correctly, you're gonna get the $2,000 and you're gonna go on that spectacular trip. You ready? Yes. Okay, your person is a science history person, okay? okay. All right, this place is a European landmark. Yes. You're good at geography. And this thing is clothing. Mm. Okay, so which one would you like to start out with? Place. You wanna start out with place. Yes. All right, here we go. Jamie, put 60 seconds on the clock. Good luck. Time starts now. Clue. For four decades, it was the world's tallest structure. Eiffel Tower. Uh, yes. All right, thing, clothing. Clue. Uh, Princess Leia sported a famous one in Return of the Jedi. Uh, oh, tunic. 
No. R robe. No. Um, holster. No. Um, in Return of the Jedi, a vest. No. Um, Would you like another clue? Yes. Mono, string, and tank are all oh, variations. Uh, swimsuit or bikini. Yes. This person is science historical figure. Clue. You have no clues left. I think I do. You nope. don't. Okay. Keep um, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, Albert Einstein. No. Um, uh, oh boy. Keep guessing. I will. <laughs> You're our guesser, Doug. Come on, guess away. Uh, Science. Tesla. Time is up. We were looking for Neil Armstrong. I know you would have got it if you had one clue, but you were smart. You used that clue for Princess Leia and the bikini. And you know what, Doug? You're going home with $2,000. Amazing. That's and great. even something else. Jamie, tell us what Doug is going home with. Doug, you get to enjoy this Cuisinart 12 Cup Coffee Center and Hurricane Blender for all your cooking needs. Cuisinart is a universally recognized brand that has always encouraged consumers to savor the good life. Nobody covers a kitchen like Cuisinart. Uh, see, you've got coffee, you got cash, you can take a road trip to Lake Erie. You can take me with you. I would love that, Doug. I hope you had a great time. You were a great player. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and you know what? This person hopes you come back tomorrow to this place and we can do this thing. Goodbye. Say goodbye, Doug. Aloha.